Hello, hello. Miss your girl, let me hear you back with another reading. Um, back by Reminiscent. This will be for the Mercury Retrograde Aquarius Capricorn from January 14th to February 3rd. Um, the Mercury is currently stationed direct in Capricorn. Uh, this is about mental pursuits, communication breakdowns, and, obs and observations before engagement. Unconventional styles of communication being brought to the forefront. Five of Swords energy where conflicts over ideals and debates. Um, where our detachment is actually greater because our mind is more logical. So um, this will be for the transit of the second house. If Mercury was transiting here, um, means you have a cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn in your second house. All right, so let's see here. We got evaluation of finances, investing in technology, healthcare advancements. So how can I make more money in investments of the future? How can I make more money investing in the future? How can I make more money investing in the future? I feel like it doesn't matter where you invest as long as it's just something that means something to you. Seven Santeria Oshun. We got her peacock man. And we got Orofi, which is the two of Santeria. And at the bottom, we have the six Congo with Shilobo or Shilibo Nuvavo Dani. Okay, so um, the Four of Congo talks about with the whale, it's literally about putting your trust into the things that you want to have and not being afraid of what it may look like, because what looks terrifying or scary is actually probably the best way or the best method. Um, for, you know, because you want to face your fears. You don't want to be passive with the things that you want. You want to take action towards it. You want to be cardinal energy, which four of the water is cancer, which is a cardinal sign. So you want to take action towards the things that you feel are necessary in order to change. And those could be the most um, fear-filled things because you don't know how it's going to feel to go through it and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um do you trust your ability to make things happen do you have confidence um that's going to be that's the center of your reading is having confidence in yourself to you know create the world that you would like to live in okay so let's look at this four combo we got the Ten of Swords, Sun, Gemini, Energy, one more, and we got the Devil, yes. So this is about you, yes, getting rid of those fears that have been nurtured for a long time when it comes to where you want your money to go, how you want, how you want your money. It may have to do with a relationship, you may have certain relationships that you're trying to uphold or we're trying to keep hold together but um it kept you away from making decisions you may have relationships with people that are surrounded by money or they may give you money or you may give them money you might be the bank or your relationship with money um may be kind of on the plank because you're unsure you're afraid of taking a step forward so this is a very good time for you to unravel the things that you're actually afraid of or any 
fears that you may have, false evidence appearing real. Um, you want to look behind the fear and with the Ten of Swords and get down to the actual thinking pattern that you have that perpetuates the fear and dissolve them. So there lies your ability to move forward being confident. So why is she here? We got the Eight of Disc, Sun and Virgo. And we got the sun. The best card to get in the new reading, the sun. So, yeah, you when you start putting more diligent work into what it is that you want to manifest, whether it's you studying or learning about what it is that you want to put your money towards or invest in, um, or this could be just be a commitment you want to make to yourself in making more money or creating um getting more assets um at the bottom we have the nine of wands the sun and sag card it's a lot of mutable energy here so there's definitely a lot of changes going on and second house is about stability and it's a fixed energy in that house so this can definitely be a very uncomfortable transit for you when it has to do with the things that are supposed to be stable in your life but you're being forced or was initiated into rethinking what makes your life feel comfortable or stable because those things are up on the chopping block and that could be where the fear you know lies where you're not comfortable moving forward and you don't have the confidence to move forward because maybe you lost your job or maybe something you invested in isn't doing so well or something that you wanted to create a project you wanted to you know manifest with your hands or some other form of you know creating art you're not sure of the outcome but you don't have to know the outcome you only need to know what it is your intention is what you're looking to do what you're looking to manifest in the energy that you are going to be manifesting in and with the sun being here everything will be okay as long as you continue to work on building your confidence which comes from you addressing each and everything that makes you feel blocked or shunned or shame or guilt or any of those other lower vibrational emotions that tell you that you you are not the god or goddess that you actually are so let's look at this too with Santeria with Anufi and we have the hanged men okay Piscean energy, Uranus energy as well. Um, and one more. We have the Knight of Death. So the situation is causing you to, you know, roll up your sleeves and get to work. But it's only after a time period of just taking a break and, you know, seeing things as they are. Prince, Prince of the Swords here. So you will receive a message, whether it's this message or a message from someone else. But you have or will receive a message that asks you to just actually just pause and take a look at everything you already have. Take in the ability to be grateful for what already is and bask in that. And then you'll know what to do next. You'll know what your next step is. The Knight of Disc is the slowest night because he just takes his time. He's ready. He, he has all his gear on. He has everything he needs, and he knows he does. He has everything he needs. Um, it is associated with the mutable energy, but also Capricorn energy as well, which is where Mercury currently is before going back into Aquarius and conjuncting with Pluto. Okay, so again, this is a perfect time for you to address your fears, grow your confidence, and then take a look back at you know the work that you have done get an appreciation grow, grow your appreciation for what you have invested in where you have put your time where you have put your effort where you have put your care and then move forward from that point okay okay we have the goose okay 
it says take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. So this Mercury and Capricorn probably had you definitely pause for the cause. <laughs> take a minute to, you know, just stop. And while you're doing that, um, be grateful for what's to come instead of being stressed out about what's not working, what's not moving. Um, that's probably the challenge for you to detach from the physical reality and get deeper into your eighth house um, a bit more so you can have that balance. Okay, so thank you so much. That was your reading. Um, leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below if this re resonated for you in any way. Thank you so much. Peace.